Hi, I'm Pete Tomlin. I'm the Senior Data Management and Monitoring Officer at Sheffield and Rotherham Wildlife Trust. I'm currently working on the More Data for Nature project, which is looking to develop a landscape scale monitoring framework for Sheffield and Rotherham. So I'm going to talk you through today how to use our Nature Counts page, which is our wildlife sightings page where you can record the species you've seen out and about. So first off, you need to get onto our website. So that's wildsheffield.com forward slash sightings. And then that will take you to this page where there's a bit of information about data for nature. And you can add your recordings here by just clicking this green button. There's then two options. There's enter a casual record or enter a list of records. So we'll do this one. And then it's a fairly simple form to fill out. So your name and email address. So we take your email address here so that you can be contacted if uh, we need to verify the sighting, the, the species you've seen. We don't use your email address there for marketing, but if you do want any marketing from us, like our, our regular e-newsletter, you can put your email address in this box as well. So then we get to the species information. So for example, I know that there's a green finch outside at the office, so I'm going to add today's date, add my name again as the recorder. And here, as I start typing, you can see the species has been brought up there. You need to be careful with this one that you check the right species. So for example, if I put in magpie, there's a few different options. So you need to make sure you're getting the right species. So I'm pretty certain it's a green finch outside, but if you're not 100% certain, you can say that it's a likely or uncertain record. I can only hear the one and as I can hear it singing I know it's a male and it's going to be an adult. So this identified here you only need to put this in um, if the person who's identified the species is not you so not the person making the record so I'm going to make that leave that blank so if I did have any photos to add, I could add some photos here. You can either have the uh, file explorer open and just drag the photos in, or you can use this button to browse your desktop. So this record isn't sen sensitive. By that I mean it's not a species which is vulnerable to persecution, but for example, if I was actually going to record a, a badger. You'll notice that the website has automatically blurred the record to 10 kilometers. So this means that anyone that sees your record publicly won't be able to see exactly where it is, although we will be able to. So we still get the useful information there. So now you can write in your location. If this is on one of our nature reserves, as soon as you start writing in the nature reserve name, it will come up and then the map will take you to that nature reserve. For now, 
I'm putting in the name of our office. And then down here on the map, I'm going to zoom in to where our office is. So this works basically how, if you've ever used Google Maps, it's exactly the same. But you can see that I can select different squares. So this is based on OS map squares. And as you can see, as you get closer and closer, it switches to Google satellite view. So you can be really precise. So if I wanted to, I could be even more precise than what I've got now, which is 100 meters. I could get that down to 10 meters if I wanted to. And as you can see, the grid reference has been automatically generated from that map. So I'm going to say this is garden. And if I wanted to add any comments, I could do here. And then I press submit. There you go. So that is a casual record. If you wanted to add a list of records, this is very similar, but basically you'll put your personal information in again. And instead of just putting in one species, this will expand so you can add a list of species. And this is for if you're at the same site and you've got a list of species you've seen at the same site. Great, so I'm just gonna navigate away from that. So just to say, just to highlight as well, what you can uh, you can do is you can keep a, an eye on our, uh, our news part of the website. We have a blog that shows some of the, the latest sightings that public have submitted um, onto our Nature Counts page and some of the photos that have been submitted as well. So this is something to do whilst you're out and about if you're getting a bit bored at home, self-isolating. So yeah, please get, get recording. Thanks.